that's going on and um, we're gonna do Jimmy the Great secret phase which is known by many as one of the hardest uh, boss phases or in general boss fights in the game um, and I've noticed a lack of um, videos to actually help you um, tackle Jimmy the Great secret with Puphead or well, little Puphead I guess so that's what we're gonna be doing Jimmy the Great secret so how to um, beat him I wouldn't say easily but how to beat him relatively painless Um, with numbers of, you know, experimenting and ha having an insanely difficult time, I, in my own experience with him, <clears throat> I, um, obviously had to do it a lot, I'm not going to get into the numbers, <clears throat> but it was a lot, um, therefore I, I did find out, um, a few uh, tricks um, that makes that final phase which is just overload crazy um, not so crazy <clears throat> so without further ado uh, we're gonna get started um, before we do I'm using the twin heart charm uh, the ones I would recommend if you don't have this either use an extra hit point uh, or the invisible dash <clears throat> for those who tend to get hit a bit you may want to go for the extra heart uh, for those who are really good at um, not getting hit and are good at you know dodging and whatnot then use the invisible dash in fact, you'll probably make out better that way, but for the, just for the video, I'm going to use the Twin Heart. Um, another good choice of the coffee, but anyway, let's get started. So, there are actually um, some tricks to a lot of these phases, from the first, um, the third, which means the sarcophagus phase and even to the final secret phase there are is a relatively uh, little trick that you could do to lessen the pain where Puphead really can't actually hit you but you'll still have to deal with Jimmy's lasers from his head so that's pretty much the only thing you'll have to worry about but um anyway let's get started uh, and I'm making this video because I've noticed that there really is a lack of any help regarding this secret phase. So it was really on my own. Not to mention that there's hardly any that cover Cuphead fighting him in the secret phase. So, if you want to take no damage at all, you can stay back here. I'll show you. This can ensure that you won't take any damage. I mean, obviously you gotta do some work, but overall you do, you don't really have to do much, other than just make sure you don't get hit. Super, then boom. You'll probably get two supers out of this. When I was looking on YouTube, or just videos in general, I kept seeing, um, you know, them using uh, Mugman, and they play very different. Mugman is um, bigger, and, uh, and he's just different. Um, his shots are different. He fires differently. Specifically, his um, he has a higher velocity in his... Uh, hits but he's also slower and much bigger 
and I, I noticed that there was no videos on how to do this with Cuphead. So I was like, there's gotta be a video somewhere to do it with Cuphead. The only thing there isn't is a, a trick for this. You'll just have to do this on your own. But the only advice I can give you is shrink and go back to normal and then as soon as you get up to it, open up again because then he'll immediately release the bomb by doing that. Now to not get hit during this phase, to stay over here, I have to give thanks to somebody for this because it was because of them that I found out about this. Um, I'm not sure who it was, but it was somebody with a YouTube account, so um, I'm, I really would like to give them credit. Hold on, let me find out who their name is. <clears throat> Not get hit in Jimmy phase. The great. You know what, wait, isn't there a history? I'm sorry about this, I just have to give this guy credit. Because it wasn't... Well, there's two ways to not get damaged. The guy who makes the help me videos taught me that the orbs can't hit you by standing all the way at the back. Jimmy the Great, spot to not get hit, Cuphead. So, shout out goes to, um, what's the guy's name? Help me, be, uh, help me I'm stuck. So thank you for that. Help me, I'm stuck. And um, another shout out I'd have to give to where the hell is he? Can't find his video. That's a shame. Hold on, Jimmy the Great Secret. I would really want to give them credit. I'm sorry for this. Oh, here we go. Shout out. Thank you very much, Chad Raptor. Both of these people have taught me some invaluable stuff. And um, if it weren't for Chad Raptor and uh, help me, I'm stuck. I would have never known about how to get through the you know, sar sarcophagus phase. And thank you. So yeah, when you stay up here, you could lob your bombs and just keep it going. I want to show you another thing that helped me unstuck taught me. Now, if you stay back here, mm, you basically can't get hit either, see? The orbs just go right through you. Now, this is what I learned. Now, there's no guarantee I'm going to win. But, for the most part, you want to stay back here. Now, yeah, you'll still maybe get hit here and there. And that's why I recommend having a little HP. Because, or more or less, it's still a pretty difficult fight. But, that's how you do it. I mean, like I said, you want to stay at the bottom part of the screen. Um, the trick really is to go up, down, up, down, and... The only difficulty is the pyramids, so yeah.